guys and welcome to my El Nido vlog. Um, we got here yesterday, we came over from Caron on the ferry and yeah it was a four and a half hour ferry journey which was pretty long but it was actually fine. I do get seasick and I managed to not get seasick somehow. It wasn't too like um, rough or anything so yeah it was fine and we were in an air con section. Um, there's like two sections, one of them is not so air con so if you can choose where you're sitting try and sit the front because that is where the air con is. Um, but yeah, apart from that, that was pretty much the whole of yesterday, just travelling and checking into this hotel, which I'm going to show you in a second the view and our little room because it's super cute. It's a little bit out of town, it's about a five to seven minute um, tricycle journey into town, which costs 50 pesos. Um, 50 pesos is just under a pound. Um, but yeah, so this morning we're just going to go over to our next place, which is in town pretty much. It's like a five minute walk into the centre and then we're gonna go explore. We're gonna go explore a couple of beaches and I think we're gonna stay at this hotel for a few days. So hopefully it's nice. Um, but yeah, I will show you the view from this place because it is beautiful. <laughs> So it's all like very colourful. Got some pink lights going on up here when we turn them on. Um, we actually have aircon, which is very nice. It did keep us cool. We did a little workout this morning, so that kept us nice and cool. And we have a toilet that flushes, which is amazing because that's not often something we've had. <laughs> yeah, we are just off out now, and then I will take you along to the beach as well. because I probably got that wrong. Um, it is very pretty, it's just lined with coconut trees and then it was so nice to go in the water because it is absolutely boiling today. We are just like dripping in sweat basically. Um, we just went and had some lunch which you would have seen in the videos and then yeah we were just exploring for a bit. We've come back to the car, we told him we'd be here at half two and it's actually half one. We didn't realise how quick we'd be so now we're just waiting for him because he's not here and we didn't actually get his name which is a bit silly of us. Um, we just know the car so here's India just sat in our little tricycle. Um, it took us about 35 minutes to get here on the tricycle and the next place we're going, Las Cabanas, is, I probably butchered that as well, so I'll leave the name of that one on screen now. Um, that's an hour and a half drive away, so we've just got changed so that we're not wet and uncomfortable and yeah, we're just going to go to that one. There's meant to be a zip line there that's really cool and then it's meant to be a great place to watch sunset, so we'll just see how we feel when we get there and see what we do. So guys, we've just got to Las Cabanas Beach. Um, yeah, we've just got to, there's like a little cafe here, a little complex going on, and then the beach is over here. So we're probably just going to get a coffee or a juice or something quickly first, aren't we? Yes, very um, thirsty. But it took us about an hour to get here, so not an hour and a half, and it wasn't actually too bad. And this beach, look, beach looks beautiful from what we've seen already. But yeah, I will show you in a little minute. just did a quick little change and did a few photos on this beach. Um, over here, I don't know if you can see, there's a zip line. Um, someone is on it at the moment, so I'm just going to spin it around and show you. Yeah, basically the zip line you go up this hill and then you can go all the way over to that little place here 
Um, it does look quite cool, but it's like I think it's quite a long walk up, and then we can't really see a path to get back because I think the because the tide's in so far. Um, I think it might be like walking through a bit of water. So I think we're going to give it a miss today, but yeah, I just thought I'd point it out in case you're interested in doing that because it does look fun, in my opinion. India's not so much. She says that looks terrifying, but um, there's what you're into. I think we're just going to chill here for a little bit and then head back. So India and I are on a boat again. Um, we're doing a little day trip today. This one is called Tour A. Um, they have like A, B, C, D and they go to different places. So I think all the places that we go to on the screen and then you can kind of see where we go. <laughs> um, a and C are meant to be the best ones. That's the ones that we're doing. We're doing A today and then C tomorrow. But yeah, we are just here in all our jackets, ready to go. So hot. <laughs> Thank you. 
going on tour seat today. So I'm going to leave the places that we're visiting today on screen again, and then I'll obviously put them on screen as we get there. But this one is the furthest away tour. Um, I don't really know what that means. I guess you a lot more driving. Yeah. yeah. Um, but that's quite nice because there was like really short gaps between each place last time, and it's, it's quite tiring. It's quite nice to just sit and watch the sea for a bit. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. So we just got to our first stop, Helicopter Island. Um, we, as you can see, like we moor up kind of here, and then we've got to swim into the beach a little bit. So we can't really take our cameras. So we've just been taking India's GoPro. Um, so yeah, all the footage will just be on that, as it has been for the past couple of days. Um, but hopefully, you can still see everything clearly. So we've stopped at Hidden Beach where basically you swim in over here and then you go round over there and there's a little beach which I will insert the GoPro footage of now. And then when you do have to put your feet down, there's like sharp rocks and you can not hurt yourself. India got a bit in on the foot because she had her sea shoes on to us morning. But um, yeah, if you're stepping on like little fishes' homes, they're probably going to bite you. Um, but yeah, apart from that, there's not much more you need to bring, I think. So we are just basically waiting for lunch because, as always, we're hungry. We have like proper snorkel lines and yeah, makeup is just not an option on these trips. So India and I have decided to go full pale and not fake tan as we've been doing for the past couple of months. So yeah, we're just embracing the paleness. Obviously wearing a t-shirt so I don't get burnt in the sea. <laughs> So we've just stopped at the most incredible snorkeling spot, um, the water looks insane and we are doing about 20 minutes and then we're going to go come back on the boat and eat lunch, which I am very excited about because I'm starving, <laughs> but I'm excited to snorkel, it's absolutely Unfortunately, I completely forgot to end my El Nido vlog um, and just finish up everything. Um, I have written a blog post on our Big Dream Boatman tour, uh, which I spoke about in this vlog, so I'll link that down below as well. But I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this vlog. Thank you so much for watching, and if you did enjoy it, um, I'd love it if you could subscribe. I have so much more coming from the Philippines. I am now in Port Barton, so that is where the next vlog will be starting. Um, but yeah. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.